No wonder men are scared of me. Another one. <laughs> Come out. One more, one more. Right now. No wonder I don't have a boyfriend. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Great. Put you back into it. Confessions. If I had a dollar for every time I thought of you, I'd only have one because you'd never left my mind. So what I'm hearing is you're broke. I hate myself sometimes. <laughs> What's up, yo? <laughs> oh, and hello, welcome back to Time with Tally. My name is Tally. If you've been over on my channel before, welcome. I do lifestyle, fitness, and a little bit of beauty content. So today, I'm going to be continuing our series. This is episode two of Workout With Me. Today, I'm gonna show you arm day. It includes one of my favorite muscle groups, which is shoulders. I got big ones, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna show y'all what I do, and I hope you join me. Let's get it. So I got a little bit of more of like a, a baggy fit on today, but I'm kind of like loving the vibes. It's giving um, honey from the movie and not for nothing, y'all. Obviously I'm bulking right now, so I'm looking a little big. I've gained obviously quite a bit of weight. I must look like a fucking unit to some people because not only that, I'm 5'4 and a half, but like I weigh almost like 190 pounds. Like I'm built. I'm built as a fuck. So if y'all ever see me in person, don't be surprised when you see how jacked I actually am. You know what I'm saying? I took my pre-workout, but I also got these bad boys. I got me some gummies. Anything gummy? Yeah, I'm in for it. Shower gummy shoes. Sneakers. I kind of got dressed today and I was like, wow. I'm like a short stump. And then I was like, oh wow. You know where I am myself of? Snooky. I'm the Puerto Rican Snooky, y'all. These four is moving like fucking butter. Let's go. <laughs> All right, you know what it is. I do it big. Come on. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Keep going. Uh, up. Another one. Uh, Come on. One more, one more. Right now. Up. Yeah. Uh, Great. Thank you. I'm uh, sorry. Listen, I don't like. Listen. <laughs> Love it like a uh, lotion because I get ashy elbows. <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking ashy as well. <laughs> all the way down slow. Touch them and then nice all the way up. We'll see. And right back down. Let's get this one better. Yep. Yep. All right, you. Let's go. Nice and easy. Go down, down. Up. There you go. That's beautiful. Thing. Much better. There you go. Almost touching them. Yes. Perfect. Up. Keep cranking. Up. Keep cranking. Up. No time to think about it. Right back down. Come I can't on. even hear you. I can't hear you. You don't have to. Up. I'm being so honest. I never know if I do these ones right, so don't follow me. Wait till y'all see the shoulder pump, it's gonna be crazy. So I think it's a good idea for this video. Let's react to the anonymous submissions that were sent to me. First one, you're the best, I love you. <laughs> That's some cute shit, period. I love you too. There was also another link that you can send an anonymous confession. This confession says, no one knows my religion. Well, if it's something that's sacred to you, keep that between you and yourself. Now, on the other hand, if you feel embarrassed because of what your religion is and you feel like the people around you won't accept you because of it, you need new people around you. Do I enjoy writing? 
Um, that's a triple. That's disgusting. Whoever sent that message, you're fucking gross. But I do enjoy. I used to ride horses when I was little. Just kidding. I rode a horse one time for my friend's fifth birthday party. I think I was seven. Chapstick break. Y'all know how I feel about crusty, dusty, musty ass lips. If you got crusty, dusty, musty ass lips, you can't be a part of my friend group. Let me break. Let's see if I can do it. Many times I've done that and it actually landed in my titties. And don't laugh, because you know what? My chest is flat as fuck. This bra I'm wearing right now makes them look like triple D. Thank you, Victoria's Secret. Sponsor me. That's definitely heavy. Too heavy, maybe. My ass is sweating. This floor is a little lopsided, but it's alright. I'm a little. This is my teapot and stout, stout. I feel like an influencer. Got the mic in my headband instead of my shirt. I'm gonna come back to shoulders in a minute. We're gonna hit some triceps. I'm a little bit nervous though because, so I don't know if I told you guys, but I hurt my arm a few weeks ago. So it was hurting my inner elbow and like my outer elbow. Extending with my tricep stuff, it was still hurting a little bit after the inner elbow healed. We'll see how this goes. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> On the street, y'all, I think I'm getting better. Y'all see that shoulder. I don't even have to point it out. <laughs> I'm so chubby. I'm a sexy chubby. Like a hot dog wrapped in dough. Like a corn dog. We're gonna hit some skull crushes. That one I'm a little bit scared for because it can go a little bit heavier with that one. It fucks me up. In the head at least. For me, a lot of my issues are mental. Clearly. It's all up here. Let's go. This is a spicy question. Somebody said, of all your friends, guys and girls, which ones would you hook up with with no consequences? Pretend all of them are single. Hey, yo. Y'all need to relax. Dang. I'm gonna say all my girlfriends. I can't pick one. My best friend Jonathan, but he's gay though, so. Whatever y'all wanted to know, it's not happening. Who do I text the most? Kelly and Erica, my two friends. We have a group chat. We literally talk every single fucking day. Love y'all. I get so mad when the fucking songs are not good. I gotta really go through my playlist. All right, this one's better. Let's go. I'm gonna try the 60. My elbow, I'm feeling it. I'm trying to massage it and hope it's not like a tendon thing. It's not like hurting like crazy or nothing, but I feel it. So pay attention to your body. I don't want to go for 70, but I'm kind of starting to feel that hurt a little bit. I really don't want to force it. I do not need to snap something. I cannot be affording no injuries, but not this close to summer. I'm also kind of stupid, because why did I choose the fucking bench all the way down here when all the fucking bars over here? Y'all see how far I'm walking? I'm mad far. All right, y'all, so we are gonna hit some biceps now. I like to do a lot of my stuff that's like on the benches and machines and things first usually. And I like to end off with supersets or any high volume stuff on the cables. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, my elbow's feeling a little sore, so I think I gotta just take it a little bit lighter with some tricep stuff. Money do more workout advice videos. Y'all kind of have to tell me what kind of advice you want, but if I'm not a professional or educated or have the knowledge, I know a lot, don't get me wrong, but I never want somebody to take some advice from me and then out of nowhere it doesn't work for them type shit, you know what I'm saying? So always do your research, always refer to professionals, please. But if you want some specific advice, I can just tell you what I would do. Doesn't mean you have to do it. Y'all are wild with these anonymous questions. This is this really what you want to know? Have I ever done the back door? Oh god. Absolutely I have. 
and I will do it again. What's my favorite toxic trait? I guess I like jealousy a little bit, only a little bit, the fake kind, only the fake kind. Like if a man is like telling me like, oh, where are you going looking all good or whatever? Who are you trying to impress? But he doesn't actually mean it, I like that. But if it's legitimate jealousy and you're trying to be controlling, get the fuck out of my face. I can't be with you. Those are actually my pecs. Those aren't my titties, that's not fat. Those are muscles. Why are the 15s feeling kind of easy? That's crazy. Watch, we're gonna move up to 20 and I'm not gonna be able to get like two. <laughs> Bobby bitch. Bobby bitch. Bobby bitch. No Kobati bitch. Sometimes I feel like my fucking chest is so wide, like I can't get my arms close enough to each other when I'm doing shit. Would I ever date an ex again? Absolutely not. Mm -mm. You showed me who you were once. I will never believe in you to be a decent person again because I take a lot and I forgive a lot, honestly. Oh God. You're inspirational? I love you. That actually makes me feel so good. Like not for nothing, that really does make me feel so good. Hey. <laughs> what do I look for in a man? Oh, that's so funny. I actually have a list. Okay, that's how. The ADHD little type A Virgo that I am. I was doing like manifestation at one point, you know, I'm writing down the things I want, vision boards, things like that. So I wrote down what I look for in a man. I had to pick like a top three traits that the man should possess. One is open-mindedness. Two, emotional availability and intelligence. Three, be capable of long, deep, mentally stimulating conversation and not be afraid of a challenge to have those kind of conversations that can be difficult. I think that's really attractive. Like someone that's secure within themselves, but like not egotistical. See what I'm saying? I, maybe I won't show you the rest of my paper that I have myself written it down on because that's between me and God. All right, I think it's gonna be our last set. I'm gonna try 25. In the confessions that someone wrote, you're even prettier in person. I hope that's a compliment because if you're telling me my freaking pictures are terrible, I'm a little scared. I don't Photoshop or like crazy edit my pictures. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Thank you. We love you, we appreciate you, and we're always rooting for you. Keep up the games. Let's go. Yeah. I love y'all. You lift me now, but you went and told on that boy. Si fue algo más que el placer, si me amaste alguna vez, yeah, o si fuiste mi amor. Show me how you do it. Get the back into it. Conmigo hay que ser claro lo que quieres ver. Ya pasó tu primavera y el amor que se fue. Pero las ganas de darle aumentan cada vez. Say in the shootout, God text me like he's getting too crowded. <laughs> I've been wanting to ask you out forever. You should have. I'm not saying I was gonna say yes, but that's too much stress to hold on to. I, I get that, you know? Forever is a long fucking time. Let it out, be free. At least if you ask and I say no, at least you know. But you never know, what if I liked you back? But you've been too chicken shit to ask me this whole time. Y'all would be surprised, not for nothing. I'm no better than nobody. But the people that I've been with, subpar. Confessions, if I had a dollar for every time I thought of you, I'd only have one because you'd never left my mind. So what I'm hearing is you're broke. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I appreciate y'all, I appreciate you. And not for nothing, I'm a little heavy, so I'm heavy on your mind. Who was the last person I texted? My group chat with Kelly and Eric, I'm telling y'all, I'm here to support you, love that. I'm gonna ask you out. I haven't seen action, so. Again, no promises. And last one, I want us to be friends. Bro. If you don't know by now, I genuinely love making gym friends. So if you want to be friends with me, make it happen. Girl, guy, I really don't give a shit. Like, make it happen. Shoot your shot. I'm more than down. More than down. I love y'all.
100 pounds, let's go. I usually will add in some overhead extensions with like a rope attachment. Just with how my tricep is feeling on this side, I think I'm gonna omit them just because I already did three workouts. So I think we're good to go here, but I'll put them in the description box below. Thank you all for joining me on this workout with me series. That's Arms Day. We have three episodes left. Follow, like, comment, share, and subscribe. You already know what to do. Thank you all for spending time with me, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye. Son casi